Hello there, fellow summoners. Mad Dog HT here again, and I got another Alliance Word Node video featuring Node 30. This is in Tier 2, um, Path 1. This has a bigger and indomitable. Um, down in the description, there are links to jump to any of the fights that you may be interested in, so check that out. Um, and first up, we have a thing. Um, and, you know, as far as this fight goes, um, I think as long as you have somebody, um, that can heal block, um, or, you know, he, the thing can't be nullified, so, um, granted there I messed up on the combo, um, and here I'm gonna have to dig myself out of a hole and hit into the block and whatever, luckily he plays well with me there, um, but yeah, um, this could be a problematic fight, um, especially with, you know, the stubborn, like I'm doing no damage right now and he's healing, but eventually, um, Void will get the heal block up because I have enough, um, debuffs and then it's just make sure that you, um, block and hopefully he throws a special. Um, here he gets, he gets, um, that L2 sting, which, um, puts on two weaknesses, so that's kind of nice. Um, a D-Gen would have been nice to get, um, but just really keep an eye on, um, those, those rock stacks. Um, unfortunately, I'm, some of these I'm getting, a uh, clean, uh, uh, clean out without dexing and triggering the protection. Not the protection, but the indestructibles. But now you can see he's going down now. Um, and besides that one mess up towards the beginning, this is going pretty well. Um, if he's not going to throw a special, that's fine. Um, I can just keep parrying him. I got that perfect block chance passive. And then, boom, I get smacked. <laughs> so it was going good. Um, and, yeah, just kind of trigger. <laughs> it's, I get done. I, I, I get the fight done. But man, that was that was close and that was that was kind of ugly. But thing goes down. But definitely just want to make sure that you can keep your um, get, get whoever you have heal blocked or be able to nullify it. But again, thing can't be nullified, so you really want somebody that can heal block um, so in some way, shape, or form. Um, here we have uh, Guillotine 2099 going up against Doctor Strange. Um, this is kind of a odd placement. Um, I do have um, Gu Guillotine 2099 charged up from a prior fight. Um, so I'm going to activate um, both the health steal and the power steal. And get, get two heavies off to have some protection with that combo shield. And you're just going to see this guy is going to go down fast. Um, it's a flow fight. Um, I'm not going to crit. But I'm also um, going to be getting those um, power burn debuffs. And here I, I finish them too fast before I can get to an L3. So now I'm just parrying to try to build up power to an L3. And I don't. I miss it. It's unfortunate. Doctor Strange goes down. I don't get to carry over the combo. But, yeah. Okay, so first two fights down. Not ideal. Um, but we're going to go up against this Mr. Sinister. Um, and for this one, we're going to bring in a Warlock. Um, Warlock is good because um, he can obviously um, heal block with his infection. And with the parry heavy, you get those bleeds. And if he happens to throw an L1 to throw those bleeds back on, well, Warlock is immune. So, um, but you can see, like, look, I've already gotten four four heavies, five heavies, and he's a third of the way down. Um, unfortunately, this guy does not have um, willpower. Otherwise, it would have gone a lot faster because he'd be degening like the whole time because the willpower and the and the infection would, would do that, but he goes down um, three for three. And next up we have a Mephisto. Um, 
on this one um i'm gonna be going in i believe with um do i have void and i don't have white so i'm going in with torch for sure um and um, i believe i'm going to use my pre-fight yes um you know mephisto can be done with torch without the pre-fight but it's it can get ugly um, because you got that um, Mephisto is not immune to oh, when you look at this my pre-fight doesn't activate um, but he has that aura so he's going to be gaining power um, so yeah my pre-fight I got screwed on this fight um, but luckily my torch is a rank 3 and this guy was just what a rank 4 and I was able to, to smoke him, but yeah, that sucked. There, there's a bug right now, and an idea to get around that is to back, apply the pre-fight back out, back out entirely out of war, and then go back in and make sure that it's applied um, for it to, to make sure that it sticks, because sometimes it won't. Um, here's a Claire. Um, this is going to be a pretty simple and straightforward fight. I'm just going to try to get as many incinerates on with the parry medium, light medium. Um, and she's just going to melt. You see, I already got Nova Flame on. And um, yeah, what's this going to be like 20 hits and she'll be down super fast to 16 hits. Piece of cake. Um, yeah, so let's move on to this next one. Next one is a Kingpin which I thought was an interesting um, fight here. Um, I have um, Symbiote Supreme on the team. That's who I believe I use for this one. Yeah, Symbiote Supreme, um, when I went into this fight, he actually did a lot better than I uh, originally thought. Um, it takes a little bit to get him like ramped up to where he gets to an L3, and that's where um, you can start to get a ton of damage in. But the one nice thing is, is even though I'm not doing a ton of damage right now, have those staggers up and it's just going to eat up that vigor regen um so you really don't have to worry about the vigor so much because most likely you're pretty much always going to have a stagger um up at least with this kingpin because he doesn't get buffs so um unless you unless you get hit by an unstop an l2 and you trigger the unstoppable but generally speaking you're gonna have a stagger there and available to eat up the vigor, um, which is nice. Plus you get a little bit of damage on that. And so now here I got um, an L3 going and then I'm just gonna start wrecking this dude with some bleeds. Um, he doesn't shrug them all off, which is nice. There he shrugs them off, but I'm still applying them. And this guy just starts to melt. Um, so yeah, then I get back to an L3 and this is gonna, I think, finish him. I don't know why I didn't uh, try to get the extra damage on that, let that roll out. Maybe I got distracted. Um, but here, 14%, and then a couple hits here is gonna bleed him. Deep wounds gonna kick in, and Kingpin goes down super clean. Um, next up, we have another Mr. Sinister. I, I, I found that I mr sinister has been on a lot of the the regen fights so whether it's the masochism fight in tier one or this vigor fight or the buffet he's usually on it um and he can be a pain in the butt sometimes um but you know he's not too bad here i have torch looks like i taken a little bit of damage from a prior fight putting on the regen uh, boost and here torch is really nice because if you get a bunch of incinerates on him and he throws an l1 to um, basically reflect them back to you that's actually good on you because you're immune as torch is immune to incinerates um, and it's going to build up his smolders so here he's not really throwing it but here i go from two to four um and it looks like this was a um flow fight yep He's getting that power flood. So I just gotta be really careful, parry block that crap and um, stop that regen, not the regen, the power floods. Um, but you can see now I'm to 11 smolders and just, I like to make sure that he just sticks to L1s and not get to L2s. Um, 
and it's just a little bit safer. You don't get that concussion on you where you're like your parries can fail and you can heal a little bit from the concussion debuff. But, you know, so this guy's starting to go down faster and faster. I got 13 smolders and I finish him off with an L3. So pretty straightforward fight. I got to heal a little bit um, and then I'm going to use that into the next the next fight and heal up again a little bit more. Um, but yeah, Mr. Sinister goes down. Pretty um, easy fight there. <clears throat> Next up, we got a Venom. Um, I think this is a Stubborn. Yep, this is a Stubborn War. So we got Venom going up against Dr. Doom. This dude doesn't really stand a chance. Um, Dr. Doom is great for this note as well, just because you can um, put those stackers on with the heavies. You can nullify with the L1 if you don't happen to have one of those up. Um, now with Venom, he's going to be constantly getting those buffs with his Clintar um, debuff. So you just got to be conscious of that, that, it, that your staggers might eat up. Um, get eaten up by, by those instead of the regen. So, But generally, this isn't going to be too much of a concern, especially when you get those um, passive perfect block chances. You can see like, I barely took any damage on that L2. Um, and yeah, we're just kind of cruising along nice and easy, um, and we're going to take down this Venom. There, the regen came up for just a minute, but the L1 took care of it, and should be able to finish him off here, I believe, with some burns, yeah, before he does another L2. So Venom goes down pretty clean with um, Dr. Doom. Um, next up we got, yep, another Mr. Sinister. Um, again, I'm going to use Torch. Torch is just awesome because you can build up the smolder and that just makes his incinerates get more powerful, more damage. Um, so yeah, I'll let this one play out. Pretty much the same tactic. Oh, this one does have suicides on, so I'm going to wait to push him over L1 until that bleed falls off. So I take less damage when he, because most likely he's going to throw an L1 and I'll get that poison for a little bit, but I didn't want the poison and the bleed. So just be aware of that if you come up against like a suicide um, Mr. Sinister. Highly recommend to wait out to push him to an L1 before... Um, that bleed expires and you can see this one goes a lot faster um, and boom he's down down fast down quick um, next up we have a domino now domino on this node it's kind of interesting domino always sucks at least that's in my opinion just because you're gonna take a lot of unavoidable damage um, and with this domino, um, I brought in Thing, um, and the goal and the concept was to build rock stacks as quickly as possible, and then um, just try to out damage Domino with 60 Furies. Um, now you can see I've done zero. She got she got that regen back up. But you know, on this on this note, when you're when it's when it's gonna be a longer fight, you just gotta have that patience, um, and stick to the game plan. Um, here I throw off another L1, and I'm just hoping that I can build the rock stacks up faster. You know, I'm getting all this crit fail damage. I haven't taken any hits, but I've taken a lot of blocks, and then the crit fail. It's taken a quarter of my health and I haven't done but 15% and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to get her back. So she's going to heal all the way back up. We've gone a minute in and I'm just like, okay, okay. Um, but this next one, I believe I'm going to um, wait till I get to L2. And that's just going to get me the damage that I need. Um, and maybe I probably should could have, should have went and sticked with the uh, L2s to begin with, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. 
the, the damage probably still wouldn't have been there to get her um, below the 25% marks. Um, so there, boom, I hit her with the L2, pushes her over the over the 25 percenter, and then it's just a race to try and make sure that I keep um, pushing her 25% of the time, and I totally, I don't know, I just got off my game there, threw no one that got blocked, um, so I didn't push her to um, below 50%, so she re heals up again, so I'm like, oh man, got ha almost half the time gone by now, but she's at 50%, so we're on track, it's slow, but it's working, but I'm at 50%, so I'm like, okay, got to do some more damage, but you can see like 60 Furies, man, thing is hitting hard, two, three Ks with non-crits, um, and then there I push her over again, but it was just barely too late, she does regen up a little bit, but this, she should be finished off here in just a minute, and I get unlucky, and I can't get a block, a parry block, stun, um, taking more crit fail damage, and I didn't get her. I tried to hit an L1 to see if that would help. Um, I do have max petrify, so that one debuff does help a little bit on the um, the regen from being minimized. And boom, L1 to finish her off. But that took 80% of my health. And all of it from crit fail, pretty much. And some block damage. But next up here we have a red skull which is an interesting placement um red skull he builds up all those armors and if you don't take care of them um the damage as they build up to 10 it, it really hinders um your damage output but for here i'm just gonna use torch um but you can see i, I think this is, a, this is a longer fight a lot longer than i had thought and I missed my heavy there. Luckily, the second part got him. You gotta be really cautious to not hit into his block, which I'm tempted to do a lot. You don't wanna take that damage from the armor. Um, but he's going down, and if he does get that regen up, um, you can block it with um, having some debuffs up. So you can see, like, I have that heal block, or it's being reduced because I have some incinerates on. But, um, yeah, so here I'm going to throw off my special three. It's going to get me into Nova Flame. And it's going to help um, bring this guy down a little bit faster. But you can see, like, the hits. This guy's at nine armor. He's almost at ten. And the damage is, you know, 500, 500, 488, 493. It's, it's, not, very, it's not very good. So um, you really need some type of damage. Um damage over time or something to, to nullify and get those um, debuffs off um, I'm certain like um, Dr. Doom would do just fine here um, but but yeah you can see like it's it's kind of a struggle to to get that damage in and um, I don't like to push him to L2 I mean I can evade his L2 but his L1 is just much more easy to evade just back up from but I think I'm gonna get back to an L3 and get back to Nova Flame I think I'm gonna wait out so that he throws a special so that I can go in afterwards and get him with some uh, Nova Flames so two L3s on this guy he's still he's still plugging along he's at 20% 17% see if we can't get some Nova's on this dude and power sting him. Not throw your special, boom, nice. But he gets the regen just in time to survive a little bit more. Luckily, the chip damage from like blocking and stuff is very minimal. So that was a clean fight, a little bit longer, but 84 to nothing. I'll take that. Now we got another thing. Um, this one is unawakened, but it's a six star. Um, this is a stubborn war, and I believe I'm gonna go back in with Void. No, I'm gonna go in with Torch. Um, 
Not sure the reasoning behind that. Probably I have to, I'd have to look at the other video to see why I used and saved Void. Um, but yeah, so here I'm just gonna make sure that I pay attention to those rock stacks. There I do trigger the, trigger the indestructible, but he throw the special and that is good. So as long as he is throwing a special, um, we should be good. Throws it again. I don't trigger the indestructible there, so that was nice. Um, and we're just trying to do medium light mediums. Uh, make sure I get a lot of uh, incinerates on this dude and um, push him to his specials. And here I don't get him back to an L1, so I'm going to hit him to his block, which is okay. But yeah, okay, so we get out of that. We're going to have to remove that indestructible though. There, I throw an L2. It's not going to do any damage. Still not doing damage, but I get back into a cycle where um, we're starting at zero rock stacks, pretty much zero power, and we're just gonna keep applying medium, light, medium, and take him down. Barely, barely before that regen kicked back in. So, could have been done better, but hey, I didn't get hit. Took fairly minimal damage and the thing goes down. And I think this is the last war of the season. This has a long shot on it. Definitely going in with um, Torch again. Torch is such a beast. Um, I had already used my pre-fight, so I think I'm trying to get my pre-fight back. I don't. Um, and for me on this fight, I'm um, gonna just try to let the let the incinerates do the work, keep him to an L1. You know he has a really powerful L2 that has those incinerates, um, but Torch is immune to, would be immune to that. But anyways, um, I just feel like the L1's a little bit easier to evade. And get away from just trying to play it as safe as possible um, and boom he's dead so I only saw one special from that um, long shot and that's note 30 for you thanks for stopping by fellas and watching I'll see you guys in the next one